As most of you know, I spent last fall driving all the way to Kyrgyzstan in my old Land Rover Defender. After that, I made it back home and spent almost all winter for driven hunts in Germany. Had a lot of fun, shot a lot of animals, but I missed you guys down here. In December, I went back to Kyrgyzstan and I had actually a very nice experience because I got the opportunity to invite a girl or she grabbed the opportunity to join me <laughs> for the trip to Kyrgyzstan because we had an appointment with an eagle hunter. days to drive to Kyrgyzstan from Denmark. Testing the Land Rover and my nerves. The ice smells fast here and I have to be careful crossing terrain like this. But what a stunning place. It's pretty here. One word, power. My new friend Rex is used to adventures. She was a professional hunter in South Africa for nearly three years and has had to manage dangerous game as well as ferocious clients. South Africa and Africa you, you got to be aware and you didn't have to be that in in Kyrgyzstan and the people were just so friendly they were happy to see you and even if you didn't understand the language you could speak to them in, in body language and yeah they just invited you if it was for vodka or food or whatever they were just happy that you were there and, and you liked their country. On this trip we're facing unfamiliar challenges every day and this hunting trip is going to be one of them. Rex has never flown a bird, and it's a special honor. Women don't hunt here, men do. We are really lucky. Normally Kada does not take any visitors out hunting. He tells us that he competes in the national championships every year, where they hunt for wolves and foxes. He's won a lot of medals. But today he's going to show us how to hunt for rabbits and hare. And maybe if we're lucky and see a fox, we'll try to get that one as well. Kara throws stones down the cliff to scare away the foxes. He has to protect the eagle if it makes a kill. I'm gonna take the hat off and let him do his job. The job? What do I get? Catch the rabbit then. Kada took his bird from the nest and reared it by hand. It's a vital part of the family. I happen to have a fox call in my pocket and Kada has never seen or heard anything like this before. It could have introduced a whole new style of hunting to this region. It's such a great experience to meet the family back home and to eat with them. Nothing is wasted, everything is used. The youngest child seems to have a quite an appetite. hunts several times a week to feed the family, but most of all to protect his sheep. You have the 
Rex and I hope to bring you much more of our adventures in the coming month, but Kyrgyzstan will take some beating. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I decided to take an even bigger journey now. The plan is now leaving Scandinavia again in a few weeks, and we will be driving from Scandinavia all the way through Russia again into Kazakhstan, and this time we will take Mongolia as well, and we'll try to see if we can make it to Kamchatka. And from there we want to get the car shipped and even go to Alaska and drive from Alaska all the way to New York. But much more about that later.